Alrighty guys, hello and welcome back to another video. For this video, I have lost my mind. I have gone insane. You might even say that I have gone beyond all reason. Okay, that was corny. Uh, I'll give you guys that one. But okay, so today we are going to be casting a beyond all reason game. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know what this game is, it is a reskin of Total Annihilation within the Spring Engine. It's a beautiful reskin. I'll leave the uh, link down in the description below if you guys want to go and grab this game. Um, it's I think it's available for free, but I would highly encourage you to contribute to uh, the developers of this game. So, talk a little bit more about the game as it progresses, but for now, we have got uh, two players. It's a 1v1. On the left-hand side of the map, we have Eco Noob. And for those of you guys that follow me on Supreme Commander Forged Alliance Forever, he is a well-recognized name on that side of the house. And he is going as the Armada and opening first bots, which is pretty standard. And his opponent is Goopy. He was going Cortex, and he has also opened first spots. Once again, pretty standard for uh, Beyond All Reason. So Beyond All Reason, very different from Fortune Alliance Forever. We'll talk a little bit about the differences as the game goes on. But the first difference that we should talk about right now is you might notice that this is kind of an asymmetrical spawn point. And the way, the reason why that happens is uh, whenever you load into a Beyond All Reason game, you can pick where you spawn. So if you follow my cursor, Eco Noob had could pick anywhere within this particular rectangle, and Goopy could pick anywhere between this rectangle on the right-hand side of the map. So offers a lot more flexibility as far as comm placement. Right now we see uh, Goopy moving an AK, which is a, a light assault kabat. And I know it's going to bother a lot of you guys that I use the term kabot, but I'll get out of that habit eventually. So I know that they're kbots to all of you, uh, all of you diehard beyond all reason players and total annihilation players. But the reason why I say kabot is because whenever I first started playing total annihilation, I was, I think, eight years old. And my dad said that they were called kabots because they go kaboom. So that is what we're going with at this point. You might also notice that the commander is moving across what looks to be impassable terrain. And that is because kbots and the commander can move across very steep cliffs. And that's one of the advantages that they have within the game. Eco noob and groupie. We're moving towards the middle. Ikonu dropping a LLT, a light laser tower. Groupie doing something similar. Going to lose his light laser tower, though, as well as his expanding mechs. Meanwhile, up at the top, all of the AKs finding themselves entangled in a bunch of peewees. The light assault kabots for the armada. And for those of you that are Total Annihilation veterans, you might notice that uh, Cortex is the core and Armada is the arm. I'm sure there was some kind of trademark or copyright infringement that would have happened there if they used the same things. So you could have been groupy flirting with each other's commanders, not getting into range. Another pretty large change between uh, Beyond All Reason and Forge Alliance Forever is that uh, the commanders do not have a ton of HP. So commanders in Beyond All Reason are not super tanky, uh, like we're used to in Forge Alliance Forever. They do have a D-gun, which is the equivalent of overcharge, but uh, they don't uh, it's it, You can't actually just walk a commander to the front line and expect to take on 10 plus tanks. Other change that you might have noticed is Eco Noob dropping a lot of light laser towers as well as Goopy. Uh, this is pretty standard for Beyond All Reason. Light laser towers, very efficient whenever we compare them to the point defense 
in Forge Alliance Forever. And I'm going to be drawing a lot of compares comparisons to Forge Alliance Forever. Mostly because a lot of my audience watches Forge Alliance Forever. We got a lot of peewees here, though, for Eco Noob. Causing problems there for Goopy. And as a caster, I gotta say, while there's a little bit of a lull here, as a caster, this game is incredible to cast. And the reason why is I can zoom in on any unit. I can hold spacebar and I can see all of the stats for that particular unit. So if I want to zoom in on a light laser tower, I, have, I want to see the damage per second and the mass cost, energy cost, HP. I can see all of that real easily as the Peewees and Axe engage there for Eco Noob. Another really great thing whenever you're casting this game, and this is one thing, um, whenever uh, me as a player, I'm coming from uh, Dota 2 primarily was the game that I played seriously before this. And there was a mechanic within Dota 2 where you could look and see the player's perspective, which I really liked. I really liked loading into uh, games with uh, the pros at the time were like Eternal Envy and uh, No Tail. Well, No Tail's still a pro, but seeing exactly what they were actually doing as we've got several peewees scooting around the back of the base. And you can even see the cursor placements there for Eco Noob and Goopy on the map, which is uh, just very cool. I love that touch. That, are, that little raid will get cleaned up though. Right? Yeah, the comm should take care of it. Hello? Goopy? All right, Ack will take care of that. Take care of that remaining Peewee. But I love the player perspective. So let's select Eco Noob, and we can actually go into Eco Noob's perspective. So this is what Eco Noob is doing with this game, which is great. I love that. I love being able to to see how a player is actually playing the game, how they're working their camera, how they're actually working through this, which I think is really cool. So we can turn that off, go back to caster perspective. You can see what Goopy's looking at. What is Goopy looking at? Goopy's looking at something similar. Nope, that's not Goopy. All right, I'm still working out the, uh, I'm still working out the kinks for the caster TV. Wait, there we go. Oh, that's still Eco Noobs. All right, we're gonna stop that. So I thought I had it figured out, I don't. Either way though, we're seeing artillery bots square off. So a bunch of hammers and some thuds from Goopy. Artillery bots are kind of the second phase for the uh, the K bot combat. They're a little better than a little better than the light assault bots. They offer a little bit more punch, but they don't have a whole lot of HP. They have very slow projectiles, so we're seeing Goopy get some great trades here. These three thuds, he's dropped one, two, three, four, five, six hammers. Well, you might call that a sack of hammers right there. He's got some ax coming in. So you'll see these uh, K-Bots moving across the otherwise impassable cliff terrain. That is a unique attribute for the K-Bot. If you guys are not familiar with Total Annihilation, there are two different land unit factories. Well, actually three if you count Hover, uh, but there are two different land unit factories. So uh, bots and vehicles are split up into two different factories. Vehicles are unable to pass terrain such as this, while K-Bots are able to pass that. But K-Bots are a little bit uh, don't have as much HP, a little bit less firepower than vehicles. So 
if you think of K-Bots as tier one, a lot of people would look at vehicles as tier 1.5, which is really interesting. I do like seeing the mouse movements, but I think I'm gonna turn it off actually for this particular one. So I'll turn that off real quick, just for the cast. Let me know in the comments. I, I do plan on doing a lot more Beyond All Reason content. A lot of people have been asking me about that. There is a nice little raid on Eco Noob's expansion up towards the north. Light laser tower should be able to hold this off though. Yeah, we'll see. As we go towards the middle, we've got artillery bots battling it out once again. Several more hammers though. Eco Noob. I think Eco Noob could push that a little bit harder. Eco Noob has a good amount of the map though. One little ack still potentially threatening this mix. See if Goopy can pull off that same sort of micro that we saw earlier. Appears to be pulling his units back. Doesn't feel confident in his ability to dodge a whole lot of shots, although he's doing pretty well. He's bagged three hammers so far and has only lost one. That'll be the fourth. So doing pretty good in these exchanges, all things considered. Let's take a look at Eco. So Eco Noob doing pretty good on both the power and the metal side of the house. And you'll see a lot more uh, as he dips into the negative on energy actually, actually heavily into the negative on energy. So one thing to keep in mind whenever you're playing bar is uh, energy will be sucked up by a lot of additional things than you're used to while you're playing path. As this ack takes out a wind generator, one of the primary energy production facilities. So light laser towers and uh, all structures in general take power of some sort. Light laser towers take power to fire. So you need to make sure your power grid is in a good spot if you want your defensive structures to fire, which is not something we're used to on the Forge Alliance for every side. Point defense will fire at all times. We're normally thinking about power in, in terms of shields, maybe artillery etc. On Goopy's side. So Goopy not as strong either on the metal or the energy game. Looking at the statistics, we can see that Eco Noob has produced roughly 30% more metal than Goopy has, which is not great. For Goopy at least. You'll also notice that these guys have gone for one factory. That is the way that you play this game. You build one factory and you assist it with engineers or construction bots or vehicles. And that is the factory that you roll with. The bots allow for a lot more, uh, a lot more build power in this game as it applies to factories than they do in Forge Alliance Forever. We've got Eco Noob. He's got a pretty good bot army here and is addressing some of his power issues pretty heavily here. Getting a bunch of wind generators up. I gotta say, the sound design for this game is top notch. It's absolutely primo. The way that the weapons sound whenever they fire and hit, it's it's so good. Whoever did the sound design on this game, hats off to you, sir. There's a good amount of reclaim here. Oh, there's a Rector, which is a uh, reclaim bot. Went out to grab that reclaim. Not gonna be able to grab it. 
Gonna lose a light laser tower as well. Calm in kind of a precarious position here. Comms for beyond all reason, not as tanky. You can see the amount of damage that he's taking from these thuds. The amount of damage that he's dealing out, not the kind of damage that you would expect to see uh, from a Supreme Commander commander. Was that a D-gun? Bags a bunch of thuds as well. Uh, I think that's going to be a pretty good exchange. I think Eco Noob will be pretty happy about that one. Could potentially sweep in here. Got a lot of peewees. And drop those thuds. Those thuds are going to go thud. Meanwhile. We have got, if I can select it, I don't know a whole lot about the units in this. Light Paralyzer Drone. I don't know what a Light Paralyzer Drone does. Doesn't... Does not look like they do much. Okay, they, they freeze units. I think that's about all they do. A little bit underwhelming. Would have expected a little bit of damage coming out from these. You guys must, might also have noticed that the uh, hammers there for uh, Eco Noob were firing into the sky. And that is because Beyond All Reason has kept to the same theme as Total Annihilation in that all units can engage all units. So every land unit can fire at an air unit. Every air unit can fire at a land unit. Doesn't necessarily mean that hammers are going to be good at anti-air, but they can shoot at airplanes. They will just miss a lot. Here we go. Push from Goopy, potentially. Lots of peewees in the vicinity. Gonna take a little bit of damage from that LLT. Gonna drop that, as well as a mechs. You can have shadowing with his peewees, as you can see. Looks like we'll have an engagement here. Uh, that's going to take out a lot of power there for Eco Noob. He spread out his power grid quite a bit. We're starting to see Eco Noob's first foray into additional factories. So we got an advanced bot lab on the way as well as an aircraft plant. Saw aircraft coming out a little bit earlier there for Goopy. Goopy, meanwhile, I think is just satisfied that he has secured the northern half of his ridge. We'll be continuing to use that. We're seeing a couple of shadows coming out. Those are the basic attack bombers for the uh, Cortex. And that was a lot of power generators. I don't know if templates are a thing in this game. But that looked like a mass power template. Also dropping down Pulverizer, which is a kind of a missile tower. AA, light AA. Wow, that's a cool sound effect. I gotta say that sound effect was a little bit underwhelming for how much damage the shadows did to those hammers, but it was a it was a dope sound effect. Like I said sound design in this game incredibly on point. We're seeing a couple of freedom fighters, basic uh, fighter coming out there for Eco Noob. Help protect his units. Shadow is making another run potentially. Not gonna get a whole lot of damage done though. Gonna end up losing one of them. That's it though. He's still gonna make it out with two. Goopy, unhappy though about the fact that he lost one of his bombers. 
goes to work on an advanced bot lab as well. So that would be your uh, that'd be your T2 upgrade. As we've got a couple of Zeus's or Mavericks actually, sorry, which are skirmish bots. They are fast learning and auto repair. Not 100% sure what these guys do. Uh, looks like they have an AOE weapon that does a little bit of damage. If you guys thought I was dumb about uh, Forge Alliance Forever, I'm real dumb whenever it comes to Beyond All Reason. So, first cast is going to be a little bit rusty. I got to learn the uh, I got to learn the units for this game a little bit better. I do know some of them though. I know the ones that shoot the bad guys. There are some of them that will shoot bad guys and deal damage. And I am able to identify those almost without fail. Almost. Regardless. Eco Noob though, producing Mavericks. Uh, I'm not sure what the what the what the reasoning is behind these. I don't think that they're DPS 268 versus 60. Okay, so these things these things do have a relatively high damage per second. I'm not sure what their range looks like though. Doesn't look like I can check either. Nope, that button doesn't work. Let's see what Goopy's doing. Apparently this is still eco noob. Let me see if I can figure out during this lull. Can I get this to Goopy? So I'm on, ah, here we go. This is what Goopy's doing. All right, Goopy has got a Moho mine up and is positioning his units in a largely defensive formation. I love this player perspective. If you guys like bar casting, I'm probably gonna do the player perspective a lot because I genuinely, I, I really like it. I think it's really great to see what a player is actually seeing as far as their perspective goes. We got a couple of Mortys, so mobile mortar bots. This looks to be kind of a tech two artillery. Oh man. So we have a couple of thunders coming in from Eco Noob. I tell you that that took out a lot of that took out a large portion of Goopy's power grid there. And Eco Noob is back there going, do you know what comes before? You know what comes after lightning? Thunder, Kachiga, Kachiga. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. I'll own that one. Alright, how did these Mavericks end up doing? It doesn't look like they do very good. Well, oh, okay. It just blew that act across the screen. Goopy's commander. Wow. Big trouble. Big trouble. Not gonna go for the throat. I, this is an easy kill. Oh, he might be cloaked. Oh, he's cloaked. The next level plays there from Goopy. I told you guys, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be useless whenever it comes to understanding the factions, but. I love what these guys are doing with this game, and you guys have been asking for bar content, so here you go. As these mortar bots begin laying into the remaining hammers, as well as the defenses there for Eco Noob in this uh, northern valley. I cannot get over how good the sound design is for this game. Hammers begin to advance again. This 
start to open up, but they are outmatched. Oh, and he's got a thud somehow. Not sure how Eco Noob gained access to the Cortex technology. Now we got Zeus though. The assault bot for the Armada. So the Zeus will look to scale the cliff and face down this light laser tower, which is doing naught but tickle the Zeus. That's gonna hurt. There is there is not anything here for Goopy to stop this, unfortunately. He's gonna lose his advanced spot lab. Potentially gonna lose all of his moho mines. As he says, oops. It's okay, man. I would have said oops as well. Goopy's base, though, is done so. Power grid gone. Moho mines are potentially gone if Eco Noob sticks around. He's gonna get one of them. Gonna leave the other one up. Meanwhile, Goopy's play is to raid the north with. Wow, those do a lot of damage. The Pyro Fast Assault bots. So, flamethrower bots, it would appear. As the uh, Mavericks, or the Martys, sorry. I watched Top Gun the other day, so. Everything that kicks ass to me is automatically Maverick. Hold the line in the north. So, Goopy's calm, he's here. And he is lacking most of his map control as the last Moho mine in the main base goes down to the Zeus. Eco Noob moves back and finishes the job. Goopy on a transport, actually. Maybe making his way up north. Got a handful of freedom fighters in the area. Zeus begin to move in. Goopy does not have a whole lot of health. See that commander is able to target air units and do actually pretty significant amount of damage, actually. Ends up dropping one of the freedom fighters. Throws down a radar. Pyros move north. Take out the resourcing options on that northern side there for Eco Noob. This is another thing that is unique to Bar. So you've got your mechs point which is right here you can drop a metal extractor uh anywhere kind of near it as long as it touches the the model for the mechs or the area it's not a model then it's going to still produce as much mass as it would normally either way though i don't think goopy gets out of this alive right eco come on man all right Takes out the, uh, picks out the pyros. Goopy calls GG. Good game, well played. All right, scores. It would appear that Goopy had the higher score. Although it looks like Eco Noob is, well, Goopy actually really caught up in the middle game since the last time we uh, checked in on him. Uh, energy produced was a little bit behind, but I'm not sure Eco Noob was using all of that. Uh, and Eco Noob has a lower aggression level. So uh, again, I'm not sure what the, how that's calculated, but apparently Eco Noob was less aggressive than Goopy. So uh, I'm going to wrap the video there, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I expect to see more bar content from me in the future. A lot of you guys have been asking me for that. Really like this game. Love what the guys are doing. I would encourage you guys to 
Uh, first off, check the link in the description. It's going to have a link to the game. And secondly, consider donating to these guys. Um, if you enjoy the game, kick them a few bucks. Uh, I think the game is well worth $20. If I'm uh, going to buy a game like this on Steam, I would expect it to be $20. So uh, that's what I gave them. But it's up to you guys whether you guys want to uh, you know, help out invest in the game or not. Um, but either way, I would I would encourage you to check it out down in the description below. It's a great reskin of a fan favorite. Uh, I think the highlight of this game, I never thought I would say this, is sound design. Uh, outside of it being a remake of a old classic, the sound design in this game is fantastic. But either way, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Expect more bar content from me in the future. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.